Simon and Schuster Audio presents Fortune and Glory, a Stephanie Plum novel, Book Twenty Seven, by Janet Ivanovich, read by Lorelai King. For Carolyn Reedy, a remarkable lady who was always a champion for me and Stephanie. Chapter One. My name is Stephanie Plum, and I'm a fugitive apprehension agent in Trenton, New Jersey. I'm not especially brave, so you would think I'd pretty much stay out of trouble. Unfortunately, I occasionally ignore the obvious signs of danger and stumble into something ugly with the potential for disaster. This was one of those times. I was in a tunnel under a strip club, and I was with my coworker, Lula. This is a bad idea, Lula said to me. My nipples are all shrunk up and trying to hide inside my body. It's like what men's gonads do when someone comes at them with a butcher knife. Those suckers abandon ship and there's nothing left but an empty nut sack. Not that I know firsthand. I'm just saying what I hear. Aside from being a bounty hunter, I think I'm pretty normal. I have shoulder-length curly brown hair that's usually pulled back into a ponytail, blue eyes from my mother's Hungarian ancestors, and a bunch of rude hand gestures from my father's Italian side of the family. My nipples aren't as smart or nearly as big as Lula's. They were currently snug inside my sports bra, going along for the ride, and not paying attention to much of anything. Not only that, but I think my hair's standing on end, Lula said. Look at it. Is it standing on end? It feels like it. My scalp is all tingly. That's a for sure sign that something horrible is going to happen to us. Lula's hair is always a surprise. Some days it's lavender. Some days it's braided. Some days it isn't even Lula's real hair. Today it was a massive puffball of chemically induced black ringlet shot through with hot pink highlights and sprinkled with glittery tiny pink stars. It was awesome. The rest of Lula is equally awesome, as her bounty runneth over in booty and boob and everything else. Today she was packed into a yellow spandex mini bandage dress that was sized for a much, much smaller woman. I was in my usual uniform of sneakers, jeans, and girly t-shirt. Lula and I were playing hooky from bounty huntering to track down Luz Augusta, a mob guy who specializes in information extraction and revenge by barbecuing various body parts of his victims. He's one of six hitmen who, years ago, bought a strip club called The Mole Hole. It's located in downtown Trenton, and it's famous. Sample complete. Ready to continue?